Pope County gathering signatures hoping to put a second vote on the ballot about casinos. And nothing's official yet, but if it makes it to the ballot, it would allow for casinos in Pope and Jefferson County. It would also expand gaming in Crittenden and Garland counties. KRK4's Stephanie Sharp was talking to people in Pope County who hope to have a voice on this issue. Steph? Well, Bob and Ashley, according to the amendment, the county judge or mayor must give a written statement of support to a casino license holder. This group is getting signatures to add a second item on the ballot for Pope County only. It would ask whether or not they support a casino there. They hope what that decision is will influence what the county judge and mayor says. Going door to door. Are you a registered Pope County voter? Either by car or on her two feet. Gathering signatures. Are you really interested in signing the petition? Absolutely. She's a volunteer with Citizens for a Better Pope County. I'm out like knocking on every door. I'm in the gas station pumps, you know, asking my neighbors as they're pumping gas, do you want to sign this petition? It's to put a second item on the ballot for Pope County voters only, asking if they support a casino or not. We have to have 4,000 signatures. That's our target goal. Tony Moore is a spokesperson. He believes this is a way for county voters to have a say. This is our opportunity to make sure that we. Uh, protect the voter uh, for or against of Pope County. Nate Steele, the legal counsel for driving Arkansas forward, the group behind the casino amendment says the group wanted there to be local control by allowing the elected officials to have written support for casino license holders. No applicant could get a license to operate in either of those counties without the express approval of both the mayor and the county judge or quorum court. All the while, Anna says she will continue to get signatures. Why voters in Blytheville and Fayetteville and El Dorado should be able to say whether or not Russellville ends up with a casino does not make sense to me. Citizens for a Better Pope County was established 15 days ago. They have to turn in all of their signatures by August 6th. Back to you. All right, Steph, thanks very much. Now, the ballot title itself hasn't been certified just yet. It needs more than 84,000 valid signatures from Arkansans to qualify. The Secretary of State's office has been counting signatures that have been collected so far this afternoon sponsors were told they have an extra 30 days to get about 15,000 extra signatures to get this amendment valid and on to the november ballot we'll keep an eye on this for you and keep you updated two victims of